Toronto, you're going to be dealing with a lot of interchangeable positions, especially on the defensive end. When you talk about Scotty Barnes, Seattle. Great start for Kyle Kuzma. Getting that three to go down as Washington gets the early advantage. Toronto Raptors, they're a, they're a poor shooting team from the outside, especially from three. So what does that mean? A lot of offensive rebounds and long rebounds. There's Kyle Kuzma trying another three and hitting nothing but four. Fast break points and converting them turnovers into points. So you have to value the ball. Also, number three in the league in offensive rebounding. So you're going to get a steady diet of number three in the league in offensive rebounding. So you're going to get a steady diet of how Nick Nurse likes to deploy this team. And I asked Wes Unsell Jr., and I'll ask you this too, Drew. You see Cal Kuzma take off. If he can get two feet in the paint, it could be curtains. Now 0 for 10 for Toronto to start the game. Who's again? He is red hot. Nick Nurse wants to talk about it. Washington has already committed three turnovers. You got Bradley Bill. Yeah. Ball goes off of the leg of Kuz, making four turnovers, as we said, Drew. Will Barton is a guy that was extremely professional during his time here with those DMPs. But what he gives Nurse is a guy that can just take the ball and get busy with it. Sometimes it's just isolation plays. Will does the fadeaway jumper comes up short. Will went scoreless in his first game as a Toronto Raptor on Tuesday against Chicago. Kyle Kuzma once again, six for six from the field. He's hit all three of his three pointers. Fleet inside to Precious and Chew is floater, no good rebound. Kuzma. And this is what Kyle does. Again, takes the ball off the rim. Just no play set call. He's just really initiating his own offense. And he's smart. Corey Kisper tried to set a, a, a pick right there. He already had an isolation with Precious Ashua. So, and when he gets to the rim, using his size and his touch with both hands, finishing off the backboard. I mean, he's almost elite at that. So, you can't lose three in a row coming out of the break. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, I mean, talk about the pivotal week. This is a business. Before the trade deadline, his name was on the trade block. He knows it. It's probably the situation he's not wanting to be in right now. Good lob upstairs. Kuz to Gafford. Maybe he was reiterating. I was, I, was, I was caught up on that Daniel Gafford dunk. <laughs> There's a steal for Washington. Let's see what Kuz can do with the crossover behind the back. Turns it over. Maybe he was reiterating. I was, I, was, I was caught up on that Daniel Gafford dunk. <laughs> A steal for Washington. Let's see what Kuzma can do with the crossover behind the back. Turns it over. Kuz being guarded by his former teammate. Nice spin by Kyle. Is that was blocked by Boucher? Should have been an offense. Grab the bucket. Snap inside a young. Good contest there by Porzingis. There's Kuzma. Boucher. Ooh, big kind of lowered his shoulder, but still got the bucket to go down. Field getting downhill on Ananobi out to Kuz in the corner. Oh, that did, did everything but go down. But right between the legs. Out to sure, Kuzma with said it was short. Here's DeLon somehow, some way. You see it, OG Ananobi. Good deflection there by Porzingis, but Portal comes up with it. Let's see what your investments do. When you, they come when back you, to haunt you. When you, when you get back to the community, <laughs> you're messing with investments. Guys are blocking your shot. <laughs> Here's Kuzma attacking left. Nice no look dime inside to Daniel Gaffer. And that's gonna alleviate some pressure from him offensively. Portal with the hook shot, rebound Kuzma. Another high screen set by Gab. Kuz attacking, missing, offensive rebound. Another swipe down. Another high screen set by Gab. Kuz attacking, missing, offensive rebound. Another swipe down. Another high screen set by Gab. Kuz attacking, missing, offensive rebound. Another swipe down. Lead is 11 for Washington. Kuz. He's the epitome. He's the epitome. He's the poster boy of jankiness. <laughs> Kuzma misses that layup. 
misses another one. Looks at the officials. Washington goes back down on the other way. Kuzma to the body. He misses. The poor Zingas is exhausted. Oh! Gary Trent Jr. He misses. <laughs> Lead back up to 11. Lead back up to 11. Where Toronto is leading and beating teams on a nightly basis. There's a block. There was Jordan Goodwin there to clean up. This is the ball out of bounds. There's Kuzma. Good pass. Corey Kisper. Line to three. It hits. That's going to be your best bet, cutting and moving without the basketball. There's Kuz in his offensive bag, the step back three. Oh, oh. Al Kuzma with 23 points. Under, under also his 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 team, and he he's doing a good job of getting these guys to buy in. Kuzma, he's got 25. Obvious, the shot clock was expiring. Daniel Gabbard fighting, but there's Jordan Goodwin. The ball ends up with him to Kuz. Look at Jordan. And we talked about the wings. Toronto has a multitude of wings that are around 6'7, six, 6'8, six, long arms, switch everything. And I think it's a couple nights ago in Atlanta, you kind of saw Vin Vintage Bradley Beal with And an OB guard Beal. Beal picks up his dribble looking for Kuzma. Kuzma trying to get downhill and shoots it over, and an OB misses. They've been magnificent here in the fourth. Freddie double V. The three is short. Gafford with it. Here's Gafford running the floor. Kuzma's got 28. A chance to be involved in this game because once he's there, he can close it out for you. Kuzma spins around. Beal with a left hand. You could come too. Our stage manager, Helen, she says she wants to go, go too. You, you like Nas? Okay, everybody. The whole crew's going to come because Wood. Oh, Porzingis deep for three. You saw the number win. The Wizards hold their opponents to less than 111 points. This becomes magical. Excellent night for Kuz. 